the Joe Rogan experience. They don't have killer whale shows there anymore? Well, that kill, that particular killer whale, Kiska, she's the only one left in Canada. There's no more in Canada. There's not ever going to be. Marine Land's never going to get another one. Uh, she's been sort of unresponsive for a long time. She's on a lot of medication. Uh, medication? Oh, tons of medication. Like what kind of medication do you put a killer whale on? Well, she's got different... Uh, I mean, you gauge the blood and you start putting them on an antibiotic. antibiotic. You get them on... Uh, 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 How do you take blood from a killer whale? Flip them over, and they got a, they've got a. In their tail, there's a series of large veins. You just roll them over. And they let you? Yeah, everything's everything is everything is trained in that they're going to provide it voluntarily. So, and it takes a long time to train these things, but you train them to, and you just prick it. You just literally grab this little needle, you put it in the in the vein. They don't get pissed at you. They get pissed if you miss and you keep trying. Oof. <laughs> don't do that. Fuck. Yeah, I've seen. Uh, it it happens. But they let you take their blood. If they're healthy and responsive, yeah, of course. If they're not, there's nothing that's going to get you to the to get them to the edge of the pool. But so you you take their blood and then they what do they find? Yeah, What's you send, wrong with send them? it to the lab. You want to look at cortisol levels, how the stress is. You want to look at white blood count, see if they're fighting any infections. Uh, you know, there's always uh, you know, in her case, there's always something. A lot of the animals are in fact on Valium. A lot of different psychotic. What? Yeah, tons. What? Yeah, tons. That that is like rampant use in uh, in 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 the aqu in aquariums. What? Yeah. Valium. Yeah, Marie Lynn accused me of stealing Valium, in fact, in the lawsuit as well, which is absolutely not true. Is this is this used everywhere? Or yeah, is it absolutely. just Marine Land? No, or? not just Marine Land. SeaWorld's everywhere. Yeah. What? Yes, absolutely. They put, like dolphins? Dolphins are on Valium all the time. Sure. When I was when what? I was when I left Marine Land, I had the agreement again, I left fairly amicably considering the the, the situation, but you know, I, I wanted to play my cards, right? And uh, Marine Land's owner called me back in specifically to uh, help a dolphin, and it was to feed her, of course. The I wish that wasn't the Daily Mail. Oh, yeah, true. What's, what's the other one? The Dodo? Buzzfeed. Is the Dodo a good one? BuzzFeed. Let's go with BuzzFeed. SeaWorld puts its whales on val Valium-like drug, documents say. Jesus fucking Those Christ. documents are from a lawsuit between Marineland and SeaWorld, where SeaWorld sued Marineland. See, Ontario, yeah, uh, SeaWorld sued Marine, yeah, the old benzodiazepines, I'm telling you. Wow. Trainers give their orcas, also known as kill, killer whales, a psychoactive drug, benzodiazepine, according to the sworn affidavit filed in Ontario Superior Court of Justice in a dispute between the park company and the rival company, Marineland, over the transport of a prize killer whale. Ikeka. Ikeka. Ikeka is, if you watch Blackfish, you've got Tilikum, that's mm -hmm. the orca that's- the that's, one that killed- Yep. Yeah. That's people. That's Tillicum's son. We had oh, his son. Wow. We had him. He was. I mean, in he, captivity, right? In captivity in a pool by himself but I mean, for the he most was part. Raised in captivity, bred in captivity. Born in captivity. Yep. Yeah. Which is even more fucked up. And he was turning aggressive, and SeaWorld was like, they were having none of it. They wanted that killer whale back, and I don't blame them. It's amazing. I'm sued for millions because I'm alleging that uh, that Marineland is mistreating their animals. SeaWorld sues Marineland because they're mistreating. They're not up taking appropriate care of the killer whale and actually win the lawsuit they would not put any barriers around the pool we've got a they, or marine Land had a large pool imagine this unimpeded ability to touch a killer whale if you wanted to reach not, it's not a safe idea this is absurd in fact especially when you're dealing with a, a large you know boisterous male orca so SeaWorld wanted barriers around it so that people can't get close well the owner of marine land you can't tell him what to do he's not going to do nothing anyone tells him what to do so Suddenly, we're dealing with the fact that this animal started to lunge at the public. Now, this is an animal that if it gets a hold of someone, it's over. They're going to toy with them for a bit. We're going to hear a lot of screaming, but the screaming will end. You're not getting anyone out of, the, out of the, that killer whale's mouth. Forget it. And this is what SeaWorld was dealing with. They're just like, shit. They had enough bad press, even back then. If Ikeka kills someone or hurts someone or anything or dies in Marine Land's care, it's going to look bad on SeaWorld. So SeaWorld's like, get him the fuck out. Now, when Tilikum killed people, he killed how many people? One person in three, Canada? Three or four, actually. He, in Victoria, ca uh, uh, Canada, the first one. Then he went to... Uh, I think it's absolutely hilarious that they kept training him and kept doing things with him. Like, that was a fucking pit bull. No big deal. That was a pit bull. Forget yeah. about it. It'd be done. But it's a killer whale. Or oh, almost well. any animal. Imagine any if they animal, had sure. a lion. They were training uh, you know, lions, and the lion killed someone. They'd be like, that's a wrap. Unless that lion well, actually, that's was not true. There was that one grizzly bear that was a trained grizzly bear for films. It was in, what's that movie? F something 40, some football movie with a big bear. Anyway, uh, the bear uh, killed the guy's brother or cousin. The guy was just standing there. It's a horrible video. You could watch the video. I've seen it. The guy just standing about. there, and the bear just decides to tear the guy's throat apart. 
just reaches up, bites him, rips his throat open. The guy runs off, grabbing his neck. He's dead within minutes. The joys yeah. of working with animals, man. I mean, you well, that bear they kept alive, and they started training him again. And uh, there's some really weird footage of the guy training the bear again. It was the one from the Will Ferrell movie, the semi-pro. Yes, semi-pro. That's the dog, yeah. or the, the 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 dog. That's the bear. That bear fucking killed somebody. Look, this guy's smacking this bear around. Look at Will. <laughs> that bear eventually killed somebody. He just got tired of people. It takes nothing for him. Oh, it was so easy for yeah. him. Yeah, just decided to fuck him up. <laughs> um, but now, when Tillicum was doing all this, he was on Valium. Oh, I can't say for sure that that was the case. When I don't, don't want to be sued anymore. When did they start putting killer whales on Valium? Um, so in in ocean uh, oceanariums or uh, aquariums and shit, Valium is often used as an appetite stimulant. So when your animal is off, you know, off, so they don't they don't eat. If they're not responding to buckets of food, you're fucked. You're having to drop the water to get access to them because they're not interested no more. They're not your friends anymore. If you don't have a bucket of food, forget about it. And so. To sort of often enough to sort of trigger that appetite, you'll pump them with the Valium. How or do they give them Valium if they don't want to eat? Stuff it right in the... Oh, well, the, you get liquid Valium, you can inject as well. Ugh. If necessary. Oh, the injections. I mean, that's a process. The things that I've seen and done that, that were normal to me and normal to anyone who's working there is insane. I mean, like we, used, what? we used to drop... We used to call this Beluga Rodeo. And at Marineland, Marineland's notorious for having like... I, we have... I say we. Uh, over 50. I put to their push in 60 Belugas at this point. And this is why it's so important to start changing these fucking laws because this is absurd. And, uh, and it creates a whole world of problems, of course, socially for these animals. Uh, babies get killed by males. It's, it's, Ugh. yeah, it's gross. It's bad. It's not manageable. Nonetheless, what we would do is we would drop the water in one of the pools. So you'd have, I mean, anywhere between 10 and 15 belugas flat on their stomach. There's a grate at the bottom of the they pool. They can't move. They can't move. Well, if they want to move, they can. But they're flopping around. But it means they're going to get fucked up bad. Like scratched up by the, the ground. So if you've got maybe a, a little bit of water, we, we've tried different things to try to mitigate how damaged up they got. There right. was one time, I mean, they get carved up. We used to call it, I mean, it's morbid, but we used to joke around. We used to call it the Caesar water because it was blood red by the time we were done oh. these procedures. I'm yeah. telling you, Joe, it would make you sick. It was the, the water was thick of blood. Oh. And so one time there was, a, there was a beluga named Peanut and she started to panic. And what she did was she repeatedly slammed her tail in a panic. Ugh. She started to bounce around like a fucking basketball. She was getting air three feet in the air. She was, you know, she's probably a 3,000 pound uh, whale, 2,000 pound whale or something. So you're not going to stop that. But we tried, of course, we jump on her. Chunks of her tail, I'm not joking, <laughs> chunks of her tail flying off, flying off. <sighs> if anyone goes to Marine Land, go ask about Peanut and go take a look at her, at her tail. There's nothing left of it. She's got like a nub that's sort of like it would jag it on the bottom. She was fucked up after that. Again, lots of meds, lots of recovery, but it was foul man so is this this benzodiazepine is this a a recent thing that they started doing to no i wouldn't say so i i can't vouch for any time before 2000 when i started but for sure once we were there i mean so, the so when you go to sea world and you see those killer whales and dolphins doing shows they're just pilled up out of their fucking minds it's a it's hardly a semblance it's merely a semblance of their wild counterparts you're not going there and seeing a dynamic animal no more you're seeing a depressed drugged uh, confused, probably frustrated animal, and I mean, again, what those what those animals go through, it's difficult for people to give a shit about anything if it doesn't affect them personally. If you see an animal going through this, it you 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 feel it. You <laughs>